Hey, what's up, guys? It's Team Raid Eats CDS back here with another, another video. Now, this one is um, something I normally don't do, but it is showing off customs that I've got from other people that um, are some of my favorites in my collection. So, I mean, as you can see, I have a bunch of customs over here. Um, I will go over who made them and, you know, all that stuff. So, first off, we have a fantasy attire for Seth Rollins. This one is made by My Damn Toys. If you don't follow him on Instagram, you definitely should. But he made this blue attire for me. It looks so damn nice. But yeah. One of my favorite figures I have in my collection. And one of my favorite Seths that I actually have. Um, so I'm going to kind of do this like in order. So that way I don't like, you know. But next up, we have a custom. This is made by... Uh, Jesus Customs, aka on here, Jesus Smooth. He did the chest tattoo and all that, and then he did the attire for me. It's very nice. Love this figure. So glad that he is the North American champion, even though Adam Cole was a great one, but Adam Cole will move on. So, yeah, we got Ricochet, made by Jesus Customs. Um, let's see. Next up, from. BEW Animations, we have his WrestleMania, uh, blah, Wrestle Kingdom 12, Cody Rhodes, The American Nightmare. It is a stardust head completely painted, sculpted on the hair, he did his chest tattoo, and the attire on this is just phenomenal. Kiss the ring right there, but yeah, BEW Animations made that one. Uh, let's see, next up we have a Tetsuya Naito from Russellman Maverick. Hideo Tommy Headskin, completely sculpted. The hair on this is insane. All painted trunks, Destino. You got the uh, Tranquilo knee pad. But yeah, Russellman Maverick made me this Naito, very, very nice figure. And uh, let's see what we got next up. Oh, these are from years ago. Maybe, what was it, three or so years ago? Maybe two, but these are made by Brock Lock. These two battlers, I will get up to this one first because this is one of my favorite figures that he's ever made me. But yeah, this is based off of the TakeOver uh, England attire. This is the Jack the Ripper. <clears throat> the best part about this whole thing this back design so shout out to Brock Lock for this I actually have a whole plethora full of uh, ballers that he's made me and they are just absolutely amazing so shout out to him for that one and then next up we have this uh, the Dove Attire Finn Balor which was in his last appearance for New Japan aka this is Prince Devitt but yeah dude the details Brock Lock has put in to all of his ballers and everything else that he's made is just insane. The back design, just fantastic. So, Brock Lock 76 Customs has made me these ballers. There's, again, these are just some of my favorites. These aren't, you know, all of them that I have in my collection because I have so many customs in my, you know, collection that it kind of be hard to show off all of them. But these are just some of the ones that stick out to me. What the hell is that noise? I don't know what that noise is. But yeah. Um, next up, this is from uh, J Rain Custom. That might be the ice cream truck. I don't know what the hell that is. But J Rain. Look at that head scan. Okada, brother. The Rainmaker. The attire is so freaking slick. Like, look, the back design. You got the knee pads, all that. The correct boots. So. These boots right here are the taller ones, and it gives them the correct height. So, shout out, you know, you don't see many people trying to follow the heights. But yeah, that is made from J Rain. Um, might as well continue with the J Rain train. I like that. J Rain train, let's get it, boy. But yeah, we have um, 2012 I Stab at the Attire Seth Rollins. Um, just the NXT head scan on there, so nothing crazy about that, but. Look at his attire, brother. Oh my goodness. 
just absolutely amazing. I need to use this in my Fed one time. Like, where's the I stab at the logo? Right there. But yeah, and then it also got the boot designs. So slick, so slick. But yeah, that one is also made from J Rain. Um, next up, we will go with the Royal Rumble 2017, also made from J Rain. Fix his arms, but I'm not sure what body this was used. Maybe Elite 47. You can see the attire right there. The black and white, so crisp. Did such a great job. Japanese lettering right there. The kick pads. All white with the phenomenal and then the P1 logo. And he, I believe he also um, did the decal on the elbow pad. So, yeah. But, uh, <clears throat> Royal Rumble 2017. Seth. Ah, AJ, what the hell am I doing? Yeah, you know, you know, just botchamania, you know? Next up, we have a uh, Elimination Chamber 2017 AJ Styles, a.k.a. Seth Rollins, as I, I like to think who it is, you know? But, uh, once again... Uh, let's see elbow pad design he did the ar the armband designs on both sides so shout out to him for that one um, he didn't do the tattoo okay so that was already like that but as you can tell crisp black and white designs right there P1 logo right there same thing as the other one phenomenal phenomenal so shout out to J Rain for that and if you guys are wondering, I am going to have everyone's, like, um, Instagrams in the link and all that. So that way, if you guys do want to get something done from one of these guys, just message them. See if they are, you know, available. And then just go from there. So um, next up, we will go with this SummerSlam 2005 Shawn Michaels from Burnout Inc. Or as you guys know him as the guy with gloves. But... Shawn Michaels, the base was a DX one, so he completely repainted this whole thing. The belt, the heart designs are insane. I just insane. The HBK right there, picture perfect. You got the back designs, and you got these little side logos right there, and right there. So, shout out to Burnout Inc. for that HBK custom one of my favorites in my collection and this is also made from him I have the uh, NXT belt with him because he is the champion in my federation um, next up we have the Russell Kingdom 12 Kenny Omega I did the head scan he did the whole attire and all that um, as you guys can see completely sculpted belt all the way around Hand painted designs, the Omega, uh, blah, 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 Omega sign right there, picture perfect. You got those designs right there, you got the knee pads. And then, um, my favorite part about this figure the kick pads. The kick pads are completely sculpted right there, and it is very nice looking. He did an amazing job. So, Chase made that burnout ink, uh, the, the Kenny Omega, so shout out to him for that one. And then, these last three are made by. Uh, Beast Nation, so we'll take off the cane. Why are you doing that, brother? So we got a 1998 cane um, from his King of the Ring attire. Burnout Inc. No, not Burnout. Beast Nation, what the hell am I? I haven't made a video in so long, guys, so please bear with me for this, but Bacha Mania Fest, it'll get better, you know? But yeah, this, this figure, I'm surprised Mattel has not made it, but once I seen him make one of these, I had to have this, and there was no, I wasn't taking no for an answer, because this figure is just absolutely insane. I would have paid a million dollars for this damn thing if I had to, but yeah. King of the Ring, Kane, absolutely love it. If you guys don't know, Kane is my favorite wrestler. So, yep, very impressed with it, very nice figure. And on to the next one, which is a Survivor Series 2000 Undertaker. If you guys don't know, he faced uh, Kurt Angle at this event. Very good match, but what stood out more was his attire because at this point, the American Badass was just either black like pants or, you know, just like 
maybe blue jeans or something like that. But this night he switched it up and wore some like leopard skin pants. Some people say the rumors are that he lost his gear and Godfather had to give him his pants. So I don't know. But the designs are insane. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do snake skin print like this before. And especially in this capacity. Because it's the whole damn, the whole trunks. Like, I, this is all hand painted. He didn't do any decals or anything. It's all hand painted. And it's just, wow. Wow. But yeah. Survivor Series 2000 Undertaker. And then next up we have a Survivor Series 2001 Kane. Also made by him. Um, now back in, what was it, maybe 2000, 2003. They came out with a figure like this. But... I could never find it, so always wanted always wanted this attire, and um, I seen him make this, and I was like, dude, just like the other cane, like <laughs> I'll pay you anything, and so we have it. We've got the R3 Tech head skin right there, absolutely incredible, completely moves, one of my favorites. Um, we got the chest all right there. We got the back design right there, the belt design. We got the shiny boots as to what Kane wore, and he even cut off the uh, the lips to the boots because Kane never wore them uh, like with those sticks overs. And then, um, yeah, we have uh, his leg designs. But yeah, dude, Kane from Survivor Series 2001. But yeah, that, I mean that's it for this video. Um, I don't think I really have anything near me that someone else made um this batista that jesus made me right here uh it's a mixture of current day batista and vengeance 2005 batista so this is like uh like a uh extras i guess because i have them laying around me and then uh the dominion attire from kenny omega that uh burnout inc made me so yeah i don't have a head scan on it because I need to make another one but yeah so that's pretty much it for this video um, I have a few more lined up that I don't know when it'll be up or whatnot but I wanted to get something out to you guys because I feel like you guys deserve more content content than I put out um, Jesus is also coming back so it's like it's motivating me to also come back and help more out with this but yeah I mean shout out to all these guys like I said I'm gonna put their uh, their Instagrams in the description so you could go follow them all that uh, I'm pretty sure let's see J rain I know he does take customs chases sometimes like he's not too busy um, BW maybe same with Maverick but yeah shout out to all those guys for these awesome customs and uh, hopefully do more once I get more customs I mean I'm always I'm always getting more work and I love it. I love getting work from people that inspire me, so shout out to that. So have a good day guys.